Oh, hello everyone welcome back this is the uh, introduction video for next.js framework and um, before we dive into next.js and its uh, features let's uh, try to understand why next.js is going to dominate the um, ui development uh, frameworks will become the one of the topmost framework according to me but uh, let me explain um, based on the ui framework history and the features um, that uh, Angular and React have and how Next.js is going to um, uh, overcome the problems from the previous Angular and React frameworks and uh, how what kind of additional features that it has. So to start with, first we'll go back to the history of uh, Java and uh, .NET um, uh, web application development. So in olden days, there used to be something called JSP for Java side uh, applications for UI and uh, ASP, which is for the .NET side. So both are server side um, uh, 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 features and they'll render on the server and um, it will update the UI. So for suppose if there is a login form and uh, you type the username and password and click submit, okay. If it is JSP or ASP, it will take those two values, go to the server, save the values and get back the, the, that values again to that particular page to display after login on the side of the screen to show the first name and last name of the user whoever logged in. Okay, for that uh, page uh, has to re refresh. Okay. So once the page is re reloaded, that's when the value is going to be um, first name and last name is going to be um, displayed on the UI. So this is a completely time taking and performance, uh, um, you know, uh, it will degrade the performance. So, um, so and those, these two JSP and ASP, both are server side uh, uh, rendering applications. It will generate the uh, HTML on the server side and it will get that to the UI and render onto the browser. It is uh, performance point of view these two are worst compared with the current um, UI frameworks okay this is the problem with JSP and ASP so after that angular framework came into the picture and angular was developed by Google and uh, it is a UI framework and uh, it will render on the uh, client side which is on the browser okay it won't to get some to update the screen or to um, perform some uh, action and updating the DOM, everything will be uh, done on the uh, uh, browser side itself and it will go to the server side by using API calls um, and uh, uh, only when there is a, a need uh, for it to pass the data to the backend and get the data from the backend. Other than that, everything will be handled on the browser, it, browser itself and it is the client side framework compared with uh, JSP and ASP okay but uh, and it is a complete framework it has a um, UI development features as well as a routing like uh, navigating from one page to another page on the UI at the same time to make backend API calls it has inbuilt uh, uh, HTTP uh, module at the same time to manage the state uh, it has angular service which is managing the uh, state of the uh, angular application state meaning to hold some data on the UI side for certain time and when there is a need to submit all together at a time to the backend that's when to submit so until we submit the data to the backend since it is client side application um, so until we send the data to the backend uh, it, it should hold the data somewhere on the UI right so for that uh, uh, this is called a state management and angular has service which will take care of the state management on the ui but the only it is very good framework but only um, this is my personal opinion the only problem that i noticed is um, basically angular supposed to supports a two-way data binding but the problem is uh, uh, two-way data binding meaning it will update the ui and uh, uh, it will always it will be always in sync with the modal uh, on, on the view on the view it will follow the model view controller mvc um, framework um, as soon as the data is for suppose if you consider the example of login username password and you enter and submit 
right away it will, it will show the first name and last name on the ui itself with uh, without even reloading the page since it is a single page application okay but to accomplish this two way data binding it is using um, uh, watchers uh, internally um, every property that is rendered onto the ui property and the value it will maintain the a watcher for that particular field and it will keep on polling to that particular field for updates if there is any value change it will update the view at the same time if there is a update on the view it will update to the uh, model so far to know whether the value is updated or not it is maintaining a internal watchers so because of these watchers the performance of the application is go is degraded okay even even though it is much faster compared with um, older frameworks but uh, because of this specific uh, reason performance is degraded okay this is about angular when it comes to the react js second one is react js and uh, react js is a javascript library developed by facebook uh, for building the user interfaces particularly the single page applications since it is just a library it is not a framework like angular okay so it 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 will just have a user interface but to but it has a very good feature called virtual dom so performance point of view we noticed a performance impact on the angular framework right so uh, react solve that particular performance issue by using its feature called virtual dom so basically angular application when it is rendered onto the browser it will directly render onto the uh, browser dom itself and a particular browser is not specifically uh, developed or designed for a specific framework to render instead it is developed for any application to render so for that reason it is little bit slow to uh, perform the dom manipulations on the angular but uh, since react came up with its own virtual dom it is specific to react so because of that reason it will update the dom very fast uh, the virtual dom and internally virtual dom is going to be uh, making the updates to the actual browser dom so the one that we are going to see as a user on the web browser it will be virtual dom of react so for react applications so for because of that this reason uh, react is much faster but unfortunately it is not a complete framework it is just a library for ui um and the problem is uh, to maintain a uh, routing like page routing from one page to another page uh, we have to use uh, additional modules or additional libraries like uh, a react router for routing and uh, redux for state management to make the api calls uh, we have to either use uh, axios or uh, fetch uh, libraries so this is a problem with react okay so angular problem is uh, performance react problem is it is not a complete framework together it we have to use a separate libraries so now let's come to the next js okay so next js it is using the it is a framework it is using the react uh, ui portion which is called virtual dom that means the ui is performance is much faster plus it is having its own routing state management and uh, api call features so that means it is combination of angular and react together um and it is a next js framework so that's why next js is much more powerful and it is going to dominate the ui uh, frameworks in next 5 years definitely and one of the key, along with this one of the game changing feature for next js is it is providing the server side features also to develop the full stack application so for suppose if you have a angular framework Uh, if you want to do, create the full stack application, you have to use uh, Node JS, uh, Node and Express combination. And then when it comes to the React also, if you want to generate the full stack application, you have to use uh, backend Node JS with uh, Express or any other piece. But when it comes to the next JS, it is providing complete full stack features. So we don't need any additional library or uh, framework or anything to develop the complete full end to end application. so full stack application meaning ui backend and the database interaction all these three things combined together next js is providing so 
with all these combining all these features next years definitely it is going to dominate the uh, ui world so now let's look at some of the uh, next year's additional features the first one is server side rendering so server side rendering uh, is next year um, it is uh, allowing the pages to be generated on the server and sent to the client um, already rendered so that means uh, instead of so these components are good these react components are going to be pre-built and ready to render so because of this it will improve the initial page load time and the performance uh, by pre by providing the pre-rendered html content okay the second one is automatic code splitting so it will uh, uh, next year automatically split the javascript code into smaller chunks based on the page boundaries that means each component is separated and uh, bundled um, uh, um, uh, into smaller chunk so that uh, whatever the piece of code that is needed for the ui um, uh, to render and the user to navigate uh, on the ui it will render only that specific piece and uh, with this it will improve the performance by loading only the necessary javascript for each page okay next one is routing so next js simplifies the routing by providing file based routing so basically um, when it comes to the routing we no need to write any additional routing logic or code uh, for next js based on the name of the file that we are going to uh, develop in the application so based on the name automatically the route is going to be internally created without even we writing any code to route so this is one of the, one of the biggest advantage no need to write the routing but it will provide the routing feature based on the file so all we need to focus is uh, file naming convention uh, for the route that's all okay and uh, the next one is uh, css and uh, um, uh, tailwind and any other sss support so basically next js is providing a support for css and sss and tailwind so tailwind css is going to be one of the um, um trending uh, css library so previously bootstrap was more of a trending library but right now um tailwind is going to dominate the css world actually it has all the inbuilt uh, inbuilt uh, css classes all we need to do is just use those classes for our application no need to write any sort of css class so the next one is api routes so next js providing a particular specific folder to keep the uh, api files or route files in a, a specific folder called api so uh, we need to create a folder called api and keep all the server side route routes and the server side connection to the db everything should be a part of the api piece and all the html and regular ui content will be outside the api okay so this is how it is generating the full stack application all the routes will go to the api all the ui content will be outside the api so it is very easy to understand the framework and the folder structure also uh, because of the uh, internal api routing feature so and one more thing is um, next case has a built-in support for typescript uh, previously with the react framework the problem is it is supporting only javascript but when it comes to the next JS, it is supporting the typescript and uh, javascript and uh, javascript uh, extension jsx also all three together and uh, with, with the typescript we can particularly focus on the static uh, type checking so this will improve the application failures um, in run in, in instead of it will help the uh, developer to figure out the issues uh, typing is type issues during the development itself instead of uh, noticing those issues in the um, in, uh, no higher end environments so the next one is image optimization basically next is it is taking care of automatically optimizing the images that are part of the public folder um, like when, when it comes to the other frameworks angular or react they are not handling this optimizing feature um, they don't have the optimizing feature but next.js is taking care of its all the static content 
um, to be optimized on its own uh, with the framework feature. Um, and also these images are going to be automatically lazy loaded uh, 